today we thought we'd bring you to uh, Catania for some of the open market shopping and some of the fun sites that we love to see in Catania. It's been a while since we've been able to enjoy it with lockdown. And after our hair raising, and I do mean hair raising, drive into <laughs> Catania and a quick bathroom break once we got here, we're going to show you some of our favorite sites. So come on, let's go. Let's enjoy. Okay, so here we're gonna start into the open market. Whatever you do, you never pay full price. You negotiate with everything. All right, so Good here tip. we go. I hope you finish it. You see, you have a headache by the time you're done. <laughs> I know. Ah, uh, olives. A random best bet. Hey, Charlie, what are you getting? Hey, Charlie, what are you getting? Hey, Charlie, what are you getting? Hey, Charlie, what Sì, perché da questa parte siamo figli del Victoria, you get the broccoli? I am. Looks good. One head for one euro. It looks beautiful. Do you want any broccoli while I'm getting it? I'll have a head. Ora, 
So what they do is, when you buy the broccoli, they'll actually clean it or take the extra uh, leafage off for you before they put it in the bag. So we just got two heads of broccoli for two euros. There's two large heads. Beautiful. So this is the other side of the market. You see, it's more like a flea market. Uh, there's some clothes here. You can buy anything in this place here. Right here, it's more more of the flea market type stuff. Some cool stuff you can buy really inexpensive. You can buy anything from underwear here to a kitchen sink if you really needed to. But there's some really good clothes and some really good deals you can find. So let's go. And here's some more stuff here. You can buy some shirts for a euro. Sometimes 50 cents. You're gonna see some antiques and new stuff. You never know what you're gonna find here. I'll tell you. Oh, look, an olive oil container. Hair dryer. That's good. I hope I don't have a shirt with some clothes for 50 cents. Maybe some new shoes. But what they do is they actually go through the tables and buy clothes in here for a euro, 50 cents. Depending on what you're buying, uh, you can get some brand new clothes too, or some used ones, depending on what you want to buy. Like these beautiful coats over here. I don't know if you can see, but I bought from him before some suit jackets. And they're really nice, brand new quality. <laughs> It's actually a quiet day here in the market. Usually, you are bumper to bumper, shoulder to shoulder with everyone. Ooh, some cologne. Okay. But as you can see, seriously, you can get just about anything here. And I'm sure if you ask for it, they would find it. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's fun. This is really crazy. It's called empty. This is downtown Catania, one of the main drags. I can't believe how quiet downtown Catania is right now. Can you believe it, Dad? No, I cannot believe how quiet. Usually it's packed full of people. And what time is it? It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay, 11 o'clock. This is usually jamming right before we post stuff. Did you say jammed? Jamming. <laughs> jamming. It's jamming. We be jamming, man. So, just a couple tips. When you are crossing the street, you just go. 
you can just walk. Yes, as you can see. The cars will stop. And if you can't find a parking space, you could do exactly what that little green stilo is doing. Just park in the middle of the road. Exactly. And just, you know, with your little hazard lights on. Sometimes they don't even have that. No. That's fine. Here we go. This is, no, this is not Elephant Square. This is University Square, right? University Square, yeah. Usually this is packed full of people. Oh, here we have a little policia monitoring to make sure we're all wearing our masks properly. But usually this is jam packed with people. Musicians. Yes, little artisans. artisans yeah. mm -hmm. But at least we have an accordion player coming up. Who just stopped playing? <laughs> Usually this cafe right here is packed with people, but not today. So we're coming to find Elephant Square. This is famous Elephant Square. You can see some beautiful architecture. We'll probably put a link on the bottom so you can find some of the facts and figures regarding this area. But it's really, really beautiful. And it's a tourist destination or site. When I was, look when I was looking at Catania the other day to see what the population was, uh, as of 2020, there was 580,000 people. Oh, wow. I know. I love these trees. They're so pretty. Okay, so this is Elephant Square. Properly named for that statue in the middle. Which, let me see if I can zoom in. So you can see the elephant here. Again, this is usually packed. Meeting of the minds. Now, you can see this water fountain here. Right behind there is the start of the fish market. Very deceiving, because you wouldn't know that it's right down there, but wait till you see the total, not chaos, but it is yeah, like- Yeah, that's proper. <laughs> it's chaos. Organized chaos. Orga organized chaos. It's like, incredible, incredible. And you have just about any fish you could possibly find. And there. seafood. A any seafood, really. Yeah, and it's fresh caught that day. It's amazing. Ah, they have this blocked off now. Dead. So, here we're going to about enter the fish market area. Usually you hear a lot of <laughs> yelling. Uh, it's usually what they have for the day and also the price. So, yes. you ready? Here we go. Here we are. Usually this is jam-packed with fish and whatnot, but right now it's a little quiet. Although we are here later in the morning, so they're sold out a little bit. But also, too, a lot of the vendors are gone. Usually, the, all the vendors are packed in through here. Mm -hmm. But you can see a lot of the trays are already empty. Some of them are already sold out. But it's amazing. When it comes to about 12.30, 1 o'clock, this will all be cleaned up, and they will clean everything up and set it up. Close down for the day and then set up again tomorrow, early tomorrow morning for the exactly. fish market. This gentleman still has some little shrimps and a nice hunk of swordfish as well. Oh, some red snapper. Oh, yeah, look at that red snapper. It's gorgeous. Anyway. Yeah, they're packing everything up right now. Yeah, you can see over here they have a swordfish. I don't know what he's cleaning right now. Fish. Yeah, this couple just ordered this fish and so he's cleaning it for them. So that's the cool thing about here too, is that when you order or pick out a fish, they will ask you if you would like it clean. And then they will clean it for you. Uh, first they weigh it. 
to pay you have to pay for the entire fish and then they clean it for you to take it home and then but they also ask you how you're going to be preparing it they do so that way they know how to fillet the fish yes yes or they'll give you recommendations on how to prepare it as exactly. well exactly they'll also clean your calamari or your squid for you which is great i'd rather have them clean it it's much easier so now he's filleting it deboning it and i don't have a knife like that at home oh sure you do no. <laughs> Oh, so we'll take a look at it. Oh, I wonder if they're going to come to that. I don't know. It's intriguing. Because it's not a very thick fish. Huh. Interesting. Over here you can see the little clams that look like pebbles. Those are not little rocks. Those are clams. Well, what's interesting is that the gentleman who's cutting the fish up right now, he confirmed with the person who's buying it. That's the size he wanted it to cut up into. So he's ordering it that way so he can cook it for probably for prawns at lunch. Mm. And then put it in there. So, you can get the fish the way you want it. Over here you see he's cleaning little fish. Uh, cuttlefish. Yes, oh yeah, I see the cuttlefish. They're letting their ink out. I think this woman's buying also, she's buying some shrimp. It's actually pretty quiet in the market today. Okay, so we're gonna head down a little bit deeper into the fish market, but on our way down, you can see this gentleman here has some chickens hanging that he's going to clean. Made to order, right? Sure, but I think that's the way they come. <laughs> you can buy a whole chicken like this with a head in it. Now we're down in the fish level. No grazie. You can see he has some gorgeous shrimp. And as it gets closer to them closing, they get more desperate to sell. So they'll get a little bit more insistent that you buy. And the price also goes down too, which is nice. So you're going to see here some of the shellfish. They have a, what they call a pose or mussels, which is fantastic here, I have to tell you. Okay. We, we love doing it, so cooking them with yeah. uh, brandy sauce. The clams are just spitting up little <laughs> water shoots, as you can see. Yeah, they're not fresh at all. They're so alive. <laughs> he just fishing. squirted again. Yeah. All right, you know, I think that I want to go get some of those shrimps I just saw. All right, let's go. So this is 12. 12 euro per kilo. And look at these little guys. You see them moving so I wonder how much kilo Victoria is getting. Good size shrimp. Yamini. Their um, flavor, the flavor is extremely good. It's not like the States. They taste different here. It's very, very good. Oh. He's throwing in some crabs. We'll see what she's doing. Who knows? It's always a mystery. I told you, tell him on, right? Yeah. 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 So he's, tell, he's negotiating with her to cut it and clean them. We'll see. What's the pasta? What's the pasta? What's the pasta? So, of course, you have to have fresh parsley with your shrimp. So, Victoria is buying a bunch. Come Actually, so she got a nice bunch. Four bunches. Four bunches for a euro. 
I have no idea how much I see. So to give you an idea, we bought a bunch of um, parsley earlier this morning for you one euro. For one second? Where Victoria was able to get four bunches for a euro. So <laughs> we get a much better price near the fish market and getting that. But you can see here that they're actually cleaning. They call it the uh, squid for Victoria. So she will have to do that when she goes home to her apartment. It makes it much easier. No, no glasses coming. Brentini. Brentini. They will do anything. They'll sell you everything in one table. Look how beautiful that fish is. We buy a phone now. I love to love it. They're able to show you. Bullet. So they are cleaning away. This is this is not something you want to do in your little apartment. I have done it many times though. Yeah, but why why do it when you can have them do it for you? I already forgot what the total was. <laughs> I didn't hear the total, I apologize. I just know what you were selling. But I think I also got some little crabs that thrown in there too. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, he just randomly started dropping things and throwing them in. <laughs> Where's the crabs? So we'll see what we're gonna do with the crabs. I don't know what I'm gonna be cooking today. <laughs> Wait a minute, what is that, Victoria? No idea what I'm making tonight, to be continued. Tutto di mare, giovane. Tenda. So he is a very, very good salesman. Do you know what those little guys are in the end that are next to the free guys I got? <laughs> no, but they sell a lot of those here. I know, they're still moving. See, and I was just planning on getting a couple shrimp. <laughs> I'll tell you, the first time coming here is not for the faint of heart. It's overwhelming with all the yelling. See, you get very confused. In the States, they try to sell you bunches of flowers, but as you... Grazie, mi re. Grazie, signore. But as you can see here, they sell bunches of parsley, if you turn that. You can see he's holding them like bunches of flowers. Right yes, he's walking right by. Right here. Uh, they hold it like bunches of flowers. But no, it's, it's fresh parsley. Or for a euro. Which would be like a, a dollar twenty right now. So you get these four huge bunches for a dollar twenty. Wow, ah, those are beautiful. That, those are good. Fish. Those are very sweet. He doesn't look very happy. <laughs> And surprisingly, you, you leave, fish <laughs> you leave you like here with a headache. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to a migraine. Are they almost done cleaning your fish? Yeah. Uh huh. They're still cleaning the calamari. Oh god. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Okay, that is one big snail. Yeah. He's still moving. <laughs> As car goes, excuse me. Uh, he's telling her it's good. I think he might be throwing it in her food. Uh -uh. So uh -huh. <laughs> Little oil and lemon. Yes. And I just have the fresh olive oil that we just got in November that was harvested. So I'll use that with it. So, I don't know where they're coming around again with these parsley. You know, it's me, the longer I stand here, the more seafood I acquire. <laughs> I think I need to start moving. But I'm kind of stuck because they're still cleaning it. It's like a captive audience. I might have to have company tonight. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone want a calamari? He's currently cutting it into rings because he asked me if I wanted to roast it or if I was going to do it free though. Yeah. And I said free, though. So he's currently cleaned it and now he's cutting it into rings. As you can see right here. So you see him cutting him. Victoria's little calamari into rings so she can fry it later. Along with her snail. Her shrimp. And I think he has some crabs in here for her, too. 
It's gonna be one season feast at her house tonight. Maybe we'll go there. I think I'm having a salad. I'm a little jealous. Anyway, it looks delicious. And over here we see he's just chopping away still. They just ordered this. Ah, look at these little guys. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, no, gracias. So they, no, gracias, señores. So, no, un poco. So they will actually eat that uh, shrimp raw. This is my bucket of, or my bag of stuff. My bucket. <laughs> my miscellaneous. So let's see what it costs total. Oh, wait, I have two bags. I don't have two bags. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but this is going to be hysterical. Let's go to Okay, I have to show you this because this is what my family business was in the States. You can see some doing some tile work. It's amazing to see Italians actually doing this. It's doing a good job. You can see they use spacers so you get a nice, accurate job done. Good job. So here's the other angle coming back. Oh, this is University Square again. And you can see Mount Etna. Between those buildings all the way in the top, you see a mountain there and it's kind of hazy. That's it. Oh. You see. There's a ton of police out today. And everyone reminding everyone to wear masks. So you can see some of the businesses. This here is a car store and a Pavitivo's, some other Planza, yummy restaurant. Okay, here we go. We're going to cross the street like a typical pit on here. This is the square where the market starts here. is some of the little bit of the crazy driving <laughs> people walking and not moving they have no fear of cars here and the kamikaze vespas Well, I hope you enjoyed our adventures today, running around Catania, going through all the open markets, collecting seafood. We sure did. We really did. Mm -hmm. So now we're back home enjoying a little bit of vino. A little bit. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. And uh, so now we're going to prepare some fe seafood and enjoy our lovely evening together. Exactly. Exactly. So, bon appetito from our house to yours. And ciao for now. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.